Outrage tonight after a viral video shows Lansing police handcuff a 12 year old boy. Now city leaders are apologizing and the family has hired a lawyer. The video shows a black boy being questioned and handcuffed and then put into the back of a police car. Police say it was a misunderstanding as part of an investigation into car thefts. News 10's Tania Jordan spoke with the boy's father and lawyer who say they have concerns about how police handled this incident. Michael Bernard talking with Lansing police officers after they handcuffed his 12-year-old son and put him in the back seat of a police cruiser. It happened on Thursday at Waverly Park Apartments where Bernard lives with his son Tayshawn. The incident captured on a cell phone by a neighbor. The video uploaded to social media getting millions of views and reaction from people questioning police actions. Bernard, who didn't want to go on camera, said he's heartbroken over his son being detained. I was mad about it because I was like, my son didn't never do it breaking the law. So I rushed down and asked the cop, what's the problem? Well, you have my son in handcuffs, just like that. Bernard says he was doing dishes and told Tayshawn to take out the trash. After taking too long to return, Bernard says he went outside to check on his son. So I get concerned when I didn't see him come back within that period of time. And I walk out through here, look out, and to my surprise, the cops had him in handcuffs. Lansing police said the 12-year-old fit a description for a man wanted for recent auto thefts in the area. Tayshawn told his dad police put their guns on him. He was stunned because he don't know what's transpiring with that. What have I done? After dumping the trash in the dumpster, he was approached from a police officer who had his gun unholstered and um, was holding it in front of him. The incident leaving the family shaken. They're now working with an Okemos law firm. In a news conference Friday evening, they say they are considering possible legal action against the city. Right now we're discussing and exploring all uh, legal options that are best suitable for our client. Lansing police declined an on-camera interview but called the incident an unfortunate misunderstanding. The department later posted a statement on their Facebook page saying in part, community relations is a top priority for us as a department from top down. Our hope is we can put this unfortunate case of wrong place, wrong time behind us and continue to represent the community that we serve. A new viral video that's again sparking conversation on how minority communities are policed. In Lansing, Tania Jordan, News 10. In an email to News 10, Lansing Mayor Andy Shore said, quote, Our officers do their absolute best to protect Lansing, but in this case, a mistake was made, and we own it and apologize to those affected. Lansing police say they are offering assistance for any trauma that Tayshawn experienced.